Grand Theft Auto Online came out in 2013, bringing a much anticipated multiplayer experience to GTA 5 fans. Almost a decade later, yes, I said a decade, we are now officially old. GTA Online is still kicking strong with millions playing the game every month. But since 2013, a lot has changed in GTA Online. I'm Steve Saylor, and here are the biggest changes that impacted GTA Online in the past decade. The first thing you can't miss when comparing GTA Online from 2013 to now is the update in graphics. The game first came out on the PlayStation 3, yes, the PlayStation 3, and the hardware difference with the PlayStation 5 is huge. Rockstar also implemented various graphical updates, so the game looks way better now than it did back in 2013. So yes, you can now hang with a 4K, 60fps, HDR, and ray tracing version of Dr. Dre. To go along with these graphical improvements, Rockstar also brought new music to the game. At first, GTA Online only featured a few radio stations looping the same music over and over again. Rockstar has now added tons of new songs and whole radio stations so you can blast music while roaming around San Andreas. Besides the upgrade in graphics and audio, the biggest change between GTA Online then and now is the content of the game. Back in the day, making money in GTA Online was way harder than it is now. When the game launched, the best way to make money was to rob stores. You take out your gun, shoot a few bullets near a cashier, and he would empty out his cash drawer to give you everything the store has. And usually that wasn't much, a few thousand dollars at best. Some contact missions could also bring a little cash, especially Violent Duct and Rooftop Rumble, but the reward was really low compared to today. Since March 2015, you can conduct heists and make way more money. Sure, it takes longer, roughly about an hour instead of a few minutes, but the reward is always way bigger. Instead of $1,000, you could aim for over a million dollars. One of the players is the heist leader and has to pay a sum of money up front to finance the job. Up to four players can join a heist and share a potential jackpot totaling over a million dollars. Rockstar added more heists in 2017, 2019, and 2020 with the Doomsday Heist, the Diamond Casino Heist, and the Kale Perico Heist updates. And if you're too lazy to take apart nice, you can always buy a shark card to get some easy money. Speaking of shark cards, they also changed over the years. They used to be branded as maze bank cards and had a slightly different design. Only the red shark, tiger shark, bull shark, and great white shark cards were available at first. The white shark card was added in December 2013 and the megalodon shark card in March 2014. Unfortunately, the tutorial from the 2013 version of the game doesn't exist anymore. When you first start GTA Online on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and S, the game asks you to choose an initial career career path from the four available options, executive, gun runner, nightclub owner, or biker. It helps players make their first steps in the game without overwhelming them with information, but it also lacks the flexibility of the initial version where you could just boot the game and start doing whatever you wanted. The map also has changed a lot since GTA Online's initial release. On PlayStation 3, the map used to actually have color. When the game came to PlayStation 4, the map turned to the black and white version we still have today. While we're on the topic of user interface, there is another difference that shows up immediately when you boot GTA Online, the main menu. When the game first came out, you were directly transported to the game. There was plenty to do in Los Santos, but it could be confusing for new players. Now when you start the game, you could directly select the kind of activities you want to do. As GTA Online is all about living your fantasy criminal life, of course you need fancy weapons to terrorize the neighborhood. The game features 99 separate weapons, 61 of which were added as part of a DLC. And of course in a Grand Theft Auto game, you need cars. When GTA Online first came out in 2013, it didn't feature nearly as many vehicles as it does today. If there were a dozen cars in GTA Online at launch, the game now features 699 vehicles. Yes, that is one vehicle short of 700. Out of these 699 vehicles, 422 came from DLC, 368 were not available in the first version of the game, and nine only appeared during missions. The various updates brought new cars, motorcycles, and even boats, planes, and helicopters. But the biggest change when it comes to vehicles is the introduction of flying vehicles, like the Deluxo or the Oppressor MK2. Speaking of the Oppressor MK2, they are infamous now for being used by the Griefers. Those annoying players that kill you before you can do anything. They suck. 
If the griefers existed since the early days of GTA Online, their methods changed since 2013. Back then, one of the scariest sights was a dude driving around in Chrome Adders and throwing sticky bombs everywhere. You could also get blown up as soon as you got out of your garage by a rhino tank. They were everywhere in the basics of any PvP activity. The rhino was one of the most powerful vehicles, allowing you to kill an entire lobby without many counters. And there was no way of knowing if someone was in a rhino since there were no icons showing which vehicle a player was using. It was just a circle on the map and once you saw a tank, it was usually too late to escape. Since then, the armor of the Rhino was nerfed and we got plenty of new weaponized vehicles to blow enemies away. Nowadays, the threat is mainly in the air, as griefers will kill you before you can even look at their oppressor MK2. Once again, griefers suck. No, I'm not speaking from experience at all. No, no, I ain't bitter. <laughs> new exciting ways of terminating people. In the first version of the game, you could share cash with your friends. There was no limit to the amount of money you could give out to a friend, so if someone just started the game, why well, you already own threes and tornos, you could give them a few million to ease their start in GTA Online. Today, you can share cash with your friends, but Rockstar drastically nerfed that feature. You can no longer give whatever you want to whomever you want. The game only lets you share the money you made on a job with other players in the same game session as you. You can't cover a new player in gold. They will have to play with you in a mission, heist, robbery, or race if you want to give them a little more money. You can only give them the money from that specific activity and not any amount of money you want from your personal fund. Rockstar changed this feature to prevent modders from breaking the game, but still, it was nice being able to share our hard-earned money the way we wanted. Free roam activities today are a lot more advanced than they were back in 2013. Back in the day, there were two main activities that brought an entire lobby together, armored trucks and bounty hunting. Every once in a while, an armored truck popped in the map containing more money than what you earned in robbing stores. Everyone tried to get to the truck first to steal its riches. The most common strategy was actually to tailor the truck with a car and throw a sticky bomb to open its door and steal the money. Bounty hunting was a real adrenaline rush. Some players could get a bounty on their heads and the entire lobby would start chasing after them to get the reward. If you had a bounty on your head, you better start running. <laughs> Over the years, Rockstar published several updates to GTA Online, bringing new content for players to enjoy. There are now a bunch of free mode activities you can do in the game, such as business battles or time trials. Since the free mode events update in 2015, special challenges appear in the free mode every six in-game hours, which is every 12 minutes in real life. You can't join these free mode challenges if you are in passive mode, however, but at least now other players can't run over you and kill you when you are in passive mode. If a lot of people used to do free roam activities in 2013, it is no longer the case in 2022, as GTA Online features way more game modes and content than it did on its release. It also gives players more things to do than just roam around Los Santos and steal a few items to get money. Races are a big part of the game in 2022, but if it is a staple in GTA Online, it has changed a lot since 2013. At first, racing in GTA Online was mainly about sports cars driving as fast as possible in the streets of Los Santos, but since then, a lot has changed. If there were only 42 races at the start of GTA Online, there is a virtually unlimited amount of tracks now. Everyone can create their own custom race with the content creator feature. Players have been creating all kinds of tracks and they look nothing like regular street races now. The cutting stunts and Southern San Andreas Super Sports Series updates also brought new racing modes, respectively the stunt races and target assault. A non-contact race option was added in the High Life update, which allows players to play standard races with collisions disabled between players' vehicles, meaning other players are basically ghosts you can't hit. Besides races, activities, and heists, Rockstar added a capture the flag mode in 2013 and a group PvP activity called Adversary Mode in 2015. The game offers more activities now than it did back in the old days. That's right, we're still old and I'm still on that. <laughs> This is modern entertainment. The casino is now a major social space in GTA Online. It has been around only for about three years now. Casinos were added with the Diamond Casino and Resource Update in 2019. Before that, you could drive by casinos but couldn't get inside. Now you can drive by the corner of Vinewood Park Drive and Vinewood Boulevard to play poker, spin the lucky wheel, or bet on horses. The casino features a penthouse you can buy with its limousine service, two VIP lounge areas, a roof terrace, and an underground nightclub. But if you feel more like a criminal, I mean, who doesn't in GTA, you can just rob the casino altogether with the Diamond Casino heist. None of that was possible before 2019. 
Over the years, the GTA Online players got a lot more clothing options, from beach-themed clothing, tattoos, and hairstyles to more formal options. There are plenty of possibilities when it comes to dressing up your character in GTA Online and looking fresh and fancy. <laughs> did I just say fresh and fancy? Yes, I did. But most of them weren't available at launch. <laughs> Rockstar also released various time-limited updates with more clothing options. The items from the Holiday Gifts, Independence Day Special, Festive Surprise, Halloween Surprise, and Festive Surprise 2015 updates are no longer available, but players who bought them during the events can still wear them today. The list of available safe houses increases drastically since the release of GTA Online. The apartments and the garages have always existed since the game's launch. The Galaxy Super Yacht was added with the Executives and Other Criminals update in December 2015. Offices joined the game in 2016 with the Further Adventures in Finance and Felony update. Clubhouses were also introduced in 2016 with the Bikers update. Bunkers and Hangers joined the game one year later with the Gun Running and Smugglers Run updates. And at the end of 2017, Rockstar introduced facilities in the the doomsday heist oh and, oh and let's talk about loading times because they also drastically changed since the first version of gta online up until march 2021 between the two yearly updates of gta online rockstar published a patch that reduced the loading time by up to 70 percent thank god on March 15, 2022, Rockstar released a standalone version of GTA Online alongside the enhanced version of GTA 5 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. This new version brings graphical enhancements and various quality of life improvements. Players can now upgrade their cars at Howe Special Works Auto Shop, replacing the mod shop of the LS Car Meet. Howe Special Works also comes with new races and time trials dedicated to tuned vehicles. Thanks for watching this video. GTA Online will be turning a decade old. That's right, I said a decade old pretty soon. And Rockstar seems to still have plans to update the game. What kind of changes would you like to see in GTA Online? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the leaderboard for more gaming content every week.